video is the fourth part of 1,400 km motorbike trip, starting in Bangkok and traveling all the way to Chantaburi. This part consists exploring the major attractions in Rayon province. Centrally located Wat Pa Pradu is a Thai forest tradition temple with an unusual mix of holes and Buddha images. Established during the Ayutthaya period, the temple became a mid-grade royal temple in 1990. Honoring the Thai traditions, we should keep the shoes off when entering to the temple. In the main hall, there is a prominent exhibition showing the ceremony of King's coronation in the royal Thai family. This is a new normal in the monks' daily life. Despite blessings, the people also have to do regular COVID disinfection. The highlight of the temple is a 12-meter long reclining Buddha that lies with its head placed on the left hand, supposedly the only left-leaning reclining Buddha in Thailand. The ceremony to cover the Buddha statues with gold leaves it's a tradition to honor Buddha's teachings and it's also an act of loving kindness and to transfer the good merits. Along Yamchinda Road, there is an old quarter of Rayong sits peacefully on the river bank. Named after the first governor, Im Yamchinda, the short road runs along Rayon River. The road was built on his initiation when trade and transportation relied mainly on the river. It cut through the town and became a new business hub of Rayon over a century ago. Today, Yamchinda Road and narrow lanes nearby remain packed with wooden houses. The Sino European style shop houses reflect the old way of life and a home to antique gallery cafes that show off vintage artifacts ranging from rotary telephones to ceramic and vintage trucks. The local museum tells stories of the town that date back 400 years since the Ayutthaya period. Antiquities, fishing equipment, rare utensils from yesteryear, and old pictures reflect the glory days of Rayon's old town. Do not also miss the small Chao Mai Tim Shrine, a Chinese Buddhist temple with images of Guanin, the goddess of compassion, mercy, and kindness.
This memorial park was built to commemorate one of the Thailand's greatest poets, Son Ton Pu, who lived during the early ages of Ratanakasin era and was honored by UNESCO as one of the greatest world's poets. The statue portrayed that Santun Pu was composing a poem in front of a big pond, surrounded by sculptures represent the main characters in his literary works. Raksame Bridge is translated from Thai as the bridge where you can watch mangrove crabs. It is a place for ecotourism near mangrove forest, which is used for crop conservation with a wooden bridge of 100 meters long. National Park is a group of limestone hills approximately 3 km long, standing in circular cluster with cliffs and caves containing stalagmites and stalactites. There are passages connecting some of the chambers. You have to bring your own flashlight oriented on the entrance for 50 baht if you wish to explore the caves, as there are no natural lights inside. The trail starting from the nearest checkpoint leads to the first Altai cave, which is almost 7 meters wide and 35 meters long. The path would lead to a spacious entrance, which is the home of nine species of birds living in the cave. The best time to explore the caves is between February and April, after which they tend to be flooded or to be muddy. It's August, I arrived to the national park and flip-flops, which was a big mistake. Fortunately, I met an amazing Thai family of a brother and a sister who kindly offered me their rubber boots. We kept exploring the caves together.
coming back to the beach side of Adlai Maipin, the popular beach in Rayon province, where I stayed for a night. Backed by trees and pavilions, the six kilometer long beach offers loads of empty space. Even when many Thai visitors descend on the weekend, I enjoyed the local Thai holiday atmosphere together with an amazing sunset. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like, and hit the notification bell button not to miss any further updates on traveling in Thailand and Asia.